Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. Good morning, hello, and how are you? Um, okay, we're going to try to keep our volume down to about a seven today because yours truly is coming to you from a top secret Area 51 office resort hotel. Uh, we're hanging out and we're, we're trying to, you know, we're, we're experimenting with some aliens. And no, I'm just kidding. I am currently hanging out in Cleveland, Ohio, doing some work for my day job, Scorpio. When I'm not FHA compliant here to every sign and placement as we do a reading, I am FHA compliant in multifamily housing. And currently, I am here to save the day in Cleveland. Hang out with some friends and, uh, you know, just do what I do before we head on back to the Motor City. But I could not leave you guys, Scorpio. So I had to bring some stuff up and we just set up a temporary setup. So we are going to take a look ahead for you and the one on your mind for January 2023 for your very first reading of the new year. Happy New Year, Scorpio. And Scorpio, if you have not checked out my All Signs reading from Sunday, you need to because April 1st and April 2nd, I will be live coming to you from Flickr Gifts in Hamburg, New York for Archer's first ever meet and greet live. Come and hang out with us. We are going to do a live All Signs with a studio audience. So if you're there Saturday night, you can hang out while I do the live. We're giving away tarot decks. You can actually do a on-site personal reading with yours truly. And we can either do it privately between the two of us or we can record it, go live. I will mic you up Joe Rogan style and we will do it live right here on Archer Astrology. So check out Flickr Gifts. They're on Instagram at Flickr Gifts and they're on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Flickr Gift Shop and follow there and follow here on my community post as well as my Instagram, Archer Astrology MD, no ego, and uh, keep posted on all the posts for all the info. And I will see you live and in person at Flickr Gifts, Hamburg, New York, this April 1st and April 2nd, Saturday and Sunday. An awesome weekend event. Be there and bring money because I've already snooped on their sites and they have way too much cool stuff that I will probably buy like all of it, like billions. All right, Scorpio. So do it to it. Here we go. For the you and the one on your mind, we're going to use the talk deck for the base cards and the penumbra deck, which actually this did indeed come from a Scorpio. My mama got me this for Christmas and I am freaking loving this. I'm connecting to that deck big time hardcore. All right, Scorpio. So with the full moon in Cancer, fellow water sign, Cancer Scorpio connection, Wheel of Fortune decides to jump. And the new moon in Aquarius later on, along with the sun transitioning between Capricorn and more Aquarius. You're at the bottom of the deck. It is time to do it to it. So for you and the one on your mind for January 2023, what is up for Scorpio? Here we go. All right, bottom of the deck, Ooh, we have the Hierophant. We have Union coming out. So Scorpio's done playing the single card and ready to come into harmony and balance, thinking about coming together with somebody. Nine of Cups underneath there? Yeah, totally. But it's taken a while, isn't it? Nine of Pentacles. All right. And you're, to you're, you're totally obsessing over a Capricorn energy while the sun's in Capricorn because you're here watching this. That's okay. I do it too. I do it too. I don't even think I have a Scorpio placement in my chart. I might. I don't know. But I still watch. All right, we've got the Four of Swords. Nice. Six of Swords. Whoa, somebody is really working very hard with their brain doing manifestation into an Empress energy. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. So this month is looking really good that you have been through so much energetical bullshit in 2022 that you have decided to level up big time with this Empress card and just go for it and get exactly what you want. And you, you don't want to fight no more people. You're totally out of that idea. This Four of Swords, you just want to call a truce and, and just chill out, relax, and kind of work together. Six of Swords, literally putting all that stuff in the boat that you want to keep and then letting the boat drift away out into the water so you can go find somewhere new. It's kind of not bad at all. But even though you do, you're still kind of looking back, you know, making sure. Kind of like the whole, did I leave the iron on type of thing. And with this Empress energy coming in, people are, it's reflecting and people are going to see it. And your person's going to see it. Because remember, Scorpio, we think 77,000 thoughts a day. There's absolutely no way once you come into somebody's life and touch it in such a way that they can't forget you. It's not like a computer. This is where Kit falls short a little bit because you can't erase somebody from your memory banks. It's it, it, You don't. 
the memories become part of your DNA, part of your programming, and especially when it's a past life connection. So you are taking all that energy in, empressing up big time and coming in with this Taurus energy, correct? Very fixed, very stable, and, and just kind of focused and driven for what you want to achieve. And Taurus does connect with Scorpio because you guys both exhibit fixed energy. So Taurus is like an earth signs version of Scorpio and Scorpio is the water signs version of a Taurus. So it's got a really nice conject connection to it that you are feeling more grounded, more stable in your place. You know, if you want to, if you, if you're leveling up, you want to upgrade to the red bottoms like Taurus does, do it. Rock self pair. And if you're a guy and you're switching it up to a turtleneck from a button down, dude, it's 2022. We don't got to wear ties no more. That's like an optional thing. Your granddaddy used to do that, right? Yep. The magician comes out. So you are using all this sword energy, this um, Aquarius, Libra energy, little Gemini, and then all this fixed placement to stand your ground and work together. You know what I say about the magician, Scorpio? It's not the, like everybody else says, where it's, you have every tool in your toolbox. Well, sure. I could actually buy a toolbox that has all the tools already in it, turn key ready to go and not have a clue what to do with one of those tools. The whole, you know how to use it. Yeah. You probably watched a YouTube video and the 12 year old showed you how to use the canoe valve wrench. No, this magician, Archer's magician is the magician that actually, when you walk into a shop, the tools aren't even in the toolbox. The toolboxes drawers are all hanging open and the tools are greasy, dirty, old, sitting out on the workbench. But that magician freaking knows exactly what to do. And he's the magician that everybody takes the cars to that they can't fix. When nobody else can fix the chariots, they go to the magician because he can do it. And that's where you're at. You're embracing everything that you got. Wow, heavy, heavy sword energy. A lot of air. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this nine of swords. So you're magicianing up to get to your 10th sword so you can come to a sense of completion and work out and get it. Just get this over with. Get it out of the way. Because even though the nine of swords is, you know, archers up late at night, Tossing and turning, lost inside of feeling, staring at the ceiling again, medicine, that you ain't getting no sleep tonight. These swords have been pulled out already. See how they're dripping blood, Scorpio? That means that much like when you get a paper cut and a paper cut sucks, that it starts to heal the minute it happens. So as soon as these swords were pulled out and started dripping blood, that is the wounds already ready to start healing. The body kicks into gear as soon as it can when it goes into a fight or flight defense mode. So you're working really hard with that energy because you've really taken the time like your new year's resolution was to not let any more energetical bullshit into your field. So you are really focused on it. And Gemini, Libra and Aquarius are coming in correct. So definitely dealing with an air sign placement that could be very fixed, which leads me a little more onto uh, Aquarius for some reason out of all of it, but I feel it that way. And then the magician energy can literally be anything. The magician could be you like Scorpio to a Scorpio, Scorpio embracing Scorpionic placements, or even the reverse of that. What if it's a fire sign that's embracing that? You know, because it's not so much of you're dealing with, you're dealing with a Scorpio, you're dealing with a Gemini. It's more of the energy from that part of the sky. So think about it. Because like how each sign will exhibit those types of things. You could be dealing with a Leo that because of the energies where their fourth house placement is. Let's say that fourth house placement happens to lie in, in Gemini. Okay. So even though that you're like, well, no, Archer, I know my person's a Leo but they're acting like a Gemini. I don't understand. That's because the placement that's being affected by the poles right now is the earth does its thing is hitting their Gemini placement and making your Leo act like a Gemini and they can't keep their pie hole shut. Example, case in point. Remember, just like how the moon affects the earth and the rise and the flow and the tides of the ocean, it does the same thing to us because humans are 70% water. And it's not so much raising or lowering, lowering the tides or levels of the ocean. All right, Scorpio, we got to go into a little Neil deGrasse Archer on you for a minute. And if you're a flat earther, I'm sorry, spoiler alert, it's round. It's not even round, actually. It's a banged up, messed up rock like this geode. It really is not just a perfect ball like the way our class drew it for all those years, you know. But when the moon or every other freaking rock out there in every astrological placement it causes the earth to stretch, expand, and contract, you know, just like heat, expansion, and contraction. And that causes, when you take a bowl and clay, when you're making clay pottery and you change the shape of the bowl as it's on the wheel spinning, that causes the displacement, the disbursement of the water changes. You're not adding or taking away water, no more than you getting out of the ocean at the beach and the water that's still clinging to your body affects the level of the ocean. You didn't take any water out of the ocean. Not enough to count, you know? It's that sort of a thing where you're like, yeah, if you got me to a nine of swords point, you didn't do enough to keep me around and you didn't put in your half, 
He didn't communicate to me right all this sword energy. Didn't tell me what was going on. Didn't tell me what's going on. We're not doing that no more. If he can't communicate with me, we're coming in correct. And that's how you're feeling about it. And that's the choice you made with the lovers. And I have no clue. I have all three air signs on the table. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I picked Gemini as the example that I used to try to kind of relate to what I'm feeling. And then Gemini pulls the lovers, comes right out. So see, you've made a choice and your person sees it and then winds up coming in like Cupid on crack with that archer up there. He's firing, um, ready to talk to you and make a thing. So it's almost like where you, hey, Scorpio, I'm going to give you props because you decided to stonewall. That happened also during my all signs, I think a week or two ago when we were getting ready for the new year. That like every reading Scorpio just was like, boom, Knight of Pentacles, not talking, not budging. I'm just waiting until we got to Aquarius. And then all of a sudden you pulled some hard duty cards. Like, okay, so Scorpio to Aquarius, we got something going on, right? And even if your person's not an Aquarius, and, and, and you're literally you're sitting there going, my dude is acting like an Aquarius. My girl is acting like an Aquarius. That's because the Aquarian part of the sky is causing their bowl to go weird and change their density. You know, you're my density, Lorraine. And they they flubbed the lines a little bit. Somebody shook her two cards. All right, hope you guys can hear me too, because I'm mic'd up. I'm trying to be nice in a hotel because I don't need people in the room next door being like, what the heck is going on over there? Especially when you're a Scorpio. You know, you hear the walls banging on that and be like, don't worry, it's just Jade Dope. She's on the other side or something. This <laughs> is Gemini energy. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got. We need some clarifiers on this. Start with four swords because uh, Scorpio's made their decision, their choices, and you're not budging back. You're like, you know what? I used to be the doormat. I used to be the welcome mat that everybody got to wipe their feet on. No more, no mas, no bueno, not happening. Your person sees that you are leveling up and not going to put up with their bullshit no more. And then all of a sudden they realize, oh crap, I better take my shoes off before I come in, you know? All right, bottom of the deck is, yeah, literally what I said, the Eight of Pentacles. Bob Ross Otero shows up to do the work to come on in there. Remember when he used to mess up on his paintings, all he had to do was fix it. He'd beat the brush all over the place and put different color plate on it and turn it into a mistake. So you are doing the work to paint a happy little bush onto that paint, onto that canvas that you got. And this could be a connection where you and, and your person share hobbies or interests, or you work together, or you met at work. That's what comes in out of this, but you're both wanting to heal through this. Yeah, leading right out, justice, Libra energy. So you're seeing that, you know, you laid the hammer down this time. You're Judge Wapner sitting there going, I want, I just want, I want a truce. Fly on the field. If you can't do it right, then don't do it at all. And spirit lays out that justice saying, you get, you got it, you know, it ruled in your favor. You, we pay, we pay, you know, pay, we pay, you know, those commercials on TV for lawyers and <clears throat> clarifying on the six of swords is a five of swords. And literally she looks kind of calm and happy as she's got three of swords in her hand. And she's like, yeah, we don't need these other two swords. That's the crap you're leaving behind as you come forward with the three swords you wanted to hang out to. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Clarifying under the Empress, we have you. Did I not? Oh my God, I just got, I just got, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling some type of way on that one. Because did I not say that you're Empressing up and not taking this? You're embracing fixed energy. And then we clarify it with you, the death card. That, that's, uh, it, that's Hamlet. There's nothing left of that skull. The old is gone and, and it's a new me in 2023. That's what you're looking at and going for. And that's the choice that's being made for you. So they're seeing it and you are on point to go forward. Yeah, with Mesa Swords. This is heavy air energy. You are definitely up late at nights thinking about this. This is going on while you're at work or while you're talking to the kids on the phone. Like you just go about your day normal in that. And you could be sitting at your desk and you're working on a report or you're balancing your checkbook. And then all of a sudden you're just, you, you're, you think you're a person. That's because they do that same thing. You think they're not talking to you. They're sitting there at work and then they go out on lunch or something or they get in the car to go home after work and they're stressed because it was a long day. And they're so used to being able to text and talk to you and say, well, how's your day going? Here's what my day's up to. What are you getting for lunch? I'm hungry and I don't know what to eat. And it can't happen if you guys aren't talking. Or you're at that weird stage where like you just had a fight. And you're trying to be like, okay, we're fine. Nothing happened. Nobody else knew about it. It doesn't matter. But it's like, no, I freaking knew about it. It happened. And you kind of, and you both start kind of missing on that little bit of, I just wanted, I just wanted to say, hey, I missed my good morning. Where's my good morning? And so you start magicianing up so you can bring that back because you want it. And spirit then is force feeding that energy as a fire hose over to them, even if they don't see it. It's not like people at work are sitting there saying your name to them, like, oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, must be Scorpio. No, no, it's, it's like 5D. It just happens in their head where you think a thought and it's Scorpio and they're like, what the heck was that? And that's when they go nine of swords, like, kind of even know, can't get you out of their mind. Eight of wands. And they decide it's time to communicate. Something's coming in. And literally what I told you, this is like a 5D communication. Spirit is talking to both you guys. 
through music, through songs. You see TV commercials with your person's name in them. They hear songs that was your guys' favorite song or songs that they didn't even tell you, made them think about you. And then you need to keep your phone nearby you because they're getting ready to send that text message to a swords that they're just like, hey, man, peace and love. We're, we're not going to fight no more. Look, this she's coming in correct, blindfolded, and she's got both swords. She's like, if you want to take these swords and stab them at me, you can, but they're down. I don't want to fight. So, And that brings the choice being made to just go forward peacefully this time around. Eight of Pentacles and do the work for a happy year. So my goodness, you are literally a manifesting magnet. You are getting exactly what you want. You are practicing your law of attraction. You're into the 369 method from Nikola Tesla. Look that one up. You're even checking Dr. Andrew Huberman's work about binaural beats. You've taken like meditation and then you started going, well, if I watch a meditation video, what are all those different sounds that makes that meditation video? Just like a song, you know, you play a, a, a track and you're like, you can hear the whole song is made up of the guitar and the other guitar and the bass and the drums and the keyboard and the overdubs and it all makes a song and you're sitting there going, well, what makes this meditation music? What's all that? And then you go and look into Andrew Huberman's work of like, Music theorists, music theorists um, uh, theorize, well, there you go, that's scientific, right? That the universe transmits and receives its communication level is at 432 hertz. So if you go and play a 432 hertz video and you hear that sound and it sounds, you're like, whoa, this, that's the sound that if you hear that same sound during the course of the day, that's spirit sending and receiving messages. You're just listening to the transmissions as they come and go, you know? Look at your dominant planet and look at even they make a sound as they move through space. At, wow, Hierophant, Eta, Eta, Eta Wands, the Eta Wands. See, told you. So as, as your planet even moves through space, go, go look up the sound of your dominating planet or any planet you want to and listen to what it sounds like. And be like, whoa, that sounds like a train in the morning when it goes past my house and I have the window open. Oh my God, that sounds like the sound of insert planet here type thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, chariot. Cancer energy. See, I, I wouldn't steer you wrong. I'm driving this chariot. I wouldn't steer you wrong. So that's what you, that's what you're focusing on is all this sword energy getting up into your head to make what you want a reality. And so let's program your GPS because Henry Ford understood it. Everybody needs a car. So we need a chariot too. I don't know if we can let you drive it, but just clean out the back seat before you get back. That's, that's all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say. Don't need to know no more. All right, so potential future outcome if you tap into the multiverse theory with Neil deGrasse Archer here and you um, want to jump timelines. And you're like, well, the stuff in this timeline is good, but that other timeline was even better. And my past life was pretty good too. Can we kind of make that all into like an omelet and go forward or chili? Let's find out. Hey, let's do it to it. All right, here we go. Potential future outcome for Scorpio and their person for January, not June, January of 2022. Apparently hooked on that Gemini feeling. Definitely heavier energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fixed energy is showing up. A little bit of Sag and a little bit of Libra. So, but dude, and you're, you're here. You're hanging out. So it could be anybody, but they're all experiencing air placement. So um, everybody's up in their feels about you. You guys are all feeling some type of way. All right. Bottom of the decks, four of pentacles for potential future outcome, which is carrying on the new me in 23 theme that you are protecting your energy so much that you have built a fortress around yourself and a Scrooge McDuck vault to hold all of your pentacles. So let's see where it goes to because you are protecting your energy big time. Whoa. Ace of Wands. This is a new way of thinking, and the passion behind it is the boom boom stick. Leave it to Scorpio to pull this. So your person's looking at you with a whole different way. Maybe you're leveling up. I did lead off mentioning that if you're a girl, like your heels went up one extra inch. If you're a guy, you finally just put away your dad's ties and the pocket button down shirt, and you bought a turtleneck and a sport jacket. And you maybe even shaved a little bit. Just clean it up. You don't got to go clear. Do what you want. But either way, it's what makes you look good to your person. And they're like, whoa, I need to break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar right now. Right now. <clears throat> Two of seven of swords. And this is what they get up into their fields. They try to keep it real. You know, if you're snooping onto their social media or vice versa, the roles reverse. And they're snooping at you and you're looking really good. But you're like, Archer, I'm not really that good. I'm here with you hanging out because I'm like, what the frick is going on? It ain't coming that way. They're, they're getting in their feels about, about the, you know, they're kind of scrolling their camera roll. I don't know what pictures y'all sent them or what pictures they snuck and took of you, which is freaky deaky either way. But they're up in their feels that if they miss out, um, it's going to be a carrot malfunction, complete ace of wand malfunction. And they're going to wind up having to take little blue pills. I don't know. Take, take that. It's freaking Scorpio reading, right? Take that. Well, however it resonates to, to an ace of cups. Oh, they found the they found the little blue pills. They found a whole freaking bottle, and when they opened it up, poop! 
So this new energy coming in is what you want to manifest. And you are literally up in your head about it. You're going, if they don't come in with this new passion behind them, they ain't coming at all. You've got a straight up love offer coming at you. And with that seven, it does tie into um, something that, that resonates over the course of the that range. Look up seven hertz, 70 hertz, and see where that connection falls in. Because 2023, when you break it down numerologically, Scorpio, two plus zero plus two plus three is seven. This is the year of the chariot. Yeah, chariot. And that is all about your fourth house placements, which is about home, family, Taurus energy, cancer energy, mommy and daddy just wanting to make a happy family. You could have situations with kids involved or even the kids cause the struggles between the two of you guys or the kids are actually the ones causing the problems and you're fighting with the kids because they, they go off to do their things and it's so hard to go into almost like an empty nest mode no matter what age they are. Even if it's, the, even if it's a 12-year-old that you finally have to start letting ride his bike a little further out past his boundaries or it's a grown, you know, 20 something son that you're like, why doesn't he tell? And why doesn't he check me every day? Why doesn't he check in? It's because they're doing stuff. And you're like, it's like such a different feel, but it's because they're all get up in their feels about this ace of cups. Everybody's trying for the ace of cups. And your person is up in their feels about offering it to you in double aces, pocket aces. you got two aces, you know, a total 21 hand. I'm totally thinking of the movie 21 right now. Scorpios would be ones to count cards. Wouldn't you guys? Scorpios totally would staying up in that field, more air energy. And then now you've got Aries and Cancer showing up too. So a lot of cardinal energy, which is happening as Mercury retrogrades comes to an end. And we have rocks going into the zero degree cardinal point in Capricorn, Mercury retrograde in Capricorn, et cetera, and so forth. That is when the, the cardinal energy, Aries, Libra, Cancer, and Capricorn come out. And people can't keep it internalized, much like a Scorpio can. They want, they're going to wind up word vomiting. And you know what? You're sitting there going, it's about time they talk to me. I'm ready for this, Archer. Remember. Remember, seven of wands, the party girl is fun until she pukes all over your shoes. So once the word vomit comes in, it's going somewhere else. So you've got a bubble put up to protect you from the bad energy, seven of pentacles. And this ace of wands is creating generational wealth. You're growing a bad bombass.com money tree right there. They see that if they plant that ace of pentacles with you, within, without you, that it's going to grow something that spans the course of forever. You might really be focusing on something that happened around July or July 7th with the Seven Pentacles to a Seven of Swords connection, but again, something that ties to cancer and the fourth house. And you're focusing on home and family. You're focusing on your kids, your husband or wife, your spouse, et cetera, and just wanting to bring it all together. You're like, this year, you know, Christmas was weird. We did FaceTimes and Skype meetings. We didn't just have everybody over. Nope, this year we're getting back into it. COVID shut the world down. And we've all are so used to being introverted that it's starting to come back out to a time when you had people over, you did things, you went out, and people actually saw each other's faces move as their mouths made words because they don't have a mask on and come out of it. Oh my goodness, and there's your three seven. We literally have a match where everything syncs up with the seven of swords, clarifying the seven of swords. You guys are both in your head about this, both you and your person. And this, when I see this, where I just, was I not just talking about the seven seven connection, something that ties to that, right there is the clarification. Now it's right on top of it. This is when this happens, I get freaky over because it it's spirits that are going, Archer's on point. Follow along and listen to what you're saying type thing. Same with you. You guys are both up in your fields. This is like, did I freaking stutter? Did I stutter? I said seven of swords and I meant it. So you guys are both up in your field with that extra air energy to manifest exactly what you want. And it's coming because you guys are both so focused on it. You especially that it's you're on steroids, dude. This is this is Cupid on crack, man. Right there. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Look at that. And that's where we got it could be an earth and a water sign connection where you guys tie in because you've got nine pentacles and you're one ace of cup and remember this here this is happy and they, they totally want to see your peacock scorpio right there that you're one pentacle away from completion and your one pentacle is still a cup energy it's 5d it's that passion and that love that the water signs exhibit as soon as this manifests into reality and becomes that ace of pentacle you're at your 10 pentacles completion and it's happy wife happy life full steam ahead from there. So it's like right there, really close with the bottom of the deck energy is being four pentacles to seven of wands. You are literally protecting your protecting your real 3D money, your 5D love money, your cup offering, and saying if you ain't coming correct to Scorpio, you ain't coming at all. So rock them red bottom Scorpio. I love you. Well, look at that. Did you see that? As I did the peace sign, it knocked the seven of swords off and the freaking magician is underneath it all the way down to the high priestess and the page of cups. That is some intuition and some deep freaking connections. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Watch Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. 
watch them water signs. Y'all know what we're all capable of. All right. I love you. It's going to be a great one. Remember, I hang out here live Sundays at 8 p.m. Also, come and see me April 1st and April 2nd this year for Archer's Live Meet and Greet at Flickr's Gifts in Hamburg, New York. Look them up quick. They are on Instagram at Flickr Gifts. They are on Facebook at Flickr Gift Shop. And then I will also be posting more info right here on Archer Astrology in my community posts, as well as my Instagram, Archer Astrology MD. I never did really take a Hippocratic oath, but even doctors don't have to really sign anything. So yeah, Dr. Archer in the house. Yo, uh, I got I got mine out of a Cracker Jack box. They were good Cracker Jacks too. All right, Scorpio. I freaking love you to the moon and back. You make it a great one and I'll see you next time. Yeah, cheers.